First, I'm going to say that I'm not against women's equal rights. Yes, you are, you idiot. Yes, you are, you idiot. The kid said he's not against women's equal rights. That's all. And based on only that, you respond with, yes, you are, you idiot. Hang on, I've got to be jumping the gun here. No one's that much of a cockhead. Perhaps he goes on to give us a really good explanation. Hi kids, today I'm going to be trying something a bit different, and uh, by a bit different I mean I'm going to be copying a more successful YouTuber who makes more money than I do. Okay, so no explanation. Classy. And you're not really narrowing this down for us. I think everyone makes more money than you do on YouTube. They are some shit stats. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a reaction commentary. Same here. So a lot of you probably know by now that YouTube is cancer. Uh-huh. I mean, you found my channel after all. But today I'm going to be talking about a very specific kind of cancer. You've probably seen it before. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, uh, here's some examples. Hey, that's one of my videos. And on the previous screenshot, you'd also shown videos by Crouton T and Blair White. This should be interesting. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking anti-feminists. For those of you who don't know about Latin word roots, an anti-feminist is someone who is against the feminism movement. Yeah, everyone knows what anti means, you condescending fuckhead. And feminism is, I quote, the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Yes, I'm aware of that. Feminism is about the advocacy of women's rights. The common misunderstanding is that the movement seeks to advocate for men as well. It doesn't, at all. As you can tell by the definition you just read. So basically, in short, an anti-feminist is a misogynistic asshole. How the fuck did you arrive there? That's some gold medal winning mental gymnastics. Tell me, if a woman is not a men's rights advocate, is she a misandrist cunt? So today I decided to delve into this memescape for the freshest, juiciest meme. I hope you're not talking about that kid, because that would sound a bit pedophilic. The freshest, juiciest meme. And guess what? What? I found it. Today we will- Oh look, he was talking about the kid. We'll be talking about feminism. Ah uh, yes, we, as in uh, you and your two subscribers. Yeah, but add your 31 subscribers and my 139,820 subscribers, and those numbers really start to add up. And how absolutely moronic it is. Alright, so you know he could have said, I don't like certain aspects of feminism or some of the more radical people kind of piss me off. But no, he's, he's just going straight for the whole movement, like, okay. Alright, go on, kid. And you know, you could have said you don't like certain anti-feminists. You know, some of the more radical ones piss you off. But no, cancer. We're all cancer. First, I'm going to say that I'm not against women's equal rights. That's not actually what they're preaching. I mean, that's what they say they preach, but... Oh boy, it looks like he's already going for the stupid, no, it's not feminism, guys, it's egalitarianism argument that every 12-year-old atheist brony ever in the entire world has used. But it seems to be that a lot of these so-called egalitarians seem to be pretty biased, as we will see soon. Okay, well, I look forward to you showing me how egalitarians are biased. But let's just say they are all biased for a moment. How is that a counter-argument to what this kid just said? That doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, also, nice 2008 meme, man. Hey, that's me mate Undoomed. If you're lucky, you might get to meet Undoomed as well. He's a nice bloke, Undoomed. I wonder if Undoomed will notice how many times I'm mentioning his name. Undoomed. <laughs> you did not just laugh at Undoomed. I reckon you may come to regret that. I wouldn't want to be in your position when Undoomed finds out about this. That's right, what they say they're preaching is actually called egalitarianism. No it isn't, it's still just called feminism. No it isn't. Even by the definition you gave us before, feminism only advocates for women's rights. Feminism does not seek to advance or protect the rights of men. Egalitarianism, on the other hand, is about the equality of all people. So the kid's right, and you're fucking wrong. So, uh, now I'm going to be talking about... How completely wrong they are. Why the hell is this little kid just walking around in his room? Seriously, I'm, I'm having difficulty understanding this. It, it's like he can't stop walking for five seconds, or else his little anti-SJW brain will just explode all over the walls. You're walking around killing pixelated aliens and monsters and shit from the early 1990s. Who gives a fuck? Is this kid walking around starting to trigger you? And why would his brains explode all over the wall if he stopped walking? That was a shit joke. Now, I mean, the fe females used to be discriminated against. Ah uh, yes, women aren't ever discriminated against at all anymore. That's a thing of the past, man. Definitely, 
There's there's never been any recorded instances of this ever happening at all. He didn't say there's never been any instances of it happening at all. Females used to be discriminated against. If you're going to make a response video to someone, it usually pays to listen to what they're saying. Plus, you can tell he's a crazy anti-feminist because he only refers to women as females. Like, there's some kind of laboratory experiment he's worried that they're going to escape and, like, kill him or something. No, he's probably using the term female because modern intersectional feminists have blurred the meaning of man and woman so much that we're supposed to call this fucking thing a woman. Well, little girl, technically. Maybe he doesn't mean the kind of woman who has a wife and kids along with a cock and a big hairy set of knackers. But now, they actually have it better in a lot of things. So let's see some of the male privilege they talk of. Alright kids, let's break this down. I'm not going to talk about homicide and suicide victims because I'm not, uh, I'm not an expert in that type of field. So, you know, I don't really care. Same with custody. Well, I gather you are an expert in whatever topic you're going to choose to talk about. But look at these, look at these interesting things here. Combat deaths and industrial deaths and accidents. Wow, it, it, it's almost as if the jobs that those deaths cause are... There, there somehow might be less women in those occupations. Actually, that's spot on. There aren't many women in those particular occupations. And you just said the jobs that those deaths cause. Now, I know you're not talking about coroners, morticians, funeral directors and grave diggers, but you should maybe check your videos before you upload them. Almost as if, um, there's discrimination against them joining. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, because discrimination is a real issue for women trying to break into the sewer maintenance profession, isn't it? You fucking daft cunt. So this, the, the kid just, just his, his voice just goes away. I, I, it might be because of shoddy editing, but I think he's just so irredeemably smug about uh, finally beating all those horrible feminists. I can't believe you just called this kid, or anyone for that matter, smug. That he just, he's just, his voice just, just, it broke. His microphone exploded. Fuck, what is it with you and really shitty explosion jokes? Did he even, like, check this video before he uploaded it? I really doubt it. The type of quality control that a 12-year-old kid... You know, watching my channel grow as quickly as it has, has been fucking incredible. It's nice to know that there's so many people out there who enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them. Like anyone else, I've got cubs to feed and bills to pay, so I really appreciate all the support that I get. It allows me to create and publish better videos at a faster rate. If you'd like to throw something in the hat as well, you can either support my videos on a continuing basis through Patreon, or by making a one-time donation via PayPal. You'll find links in the description. If you can't or don't want to, that's okay too. You can help my channel grow by liking and sharing this video. Thanks for watching.